<laughs> Both Tory leadership candidates are threatening a no deal. The Chancellor this morning, I think, very eloquently has set out the consequences of that no deal. Can I ask him very straightforwardly, bearing in mind what he's said, will he join us in committing himself to making, doing everything he possibly can to oppose the prorogation of Parliament, to try and sneak a new no deal through, and also voting against a no deal? And with your permission, Mr Speaker, if I may, this may be the Chancellor's last Treasury questions. I just want to thank him for the civility in which he's always maintained our relationship. Admit also that at times we've enjoyed his dry sense of humour. Um, I gave his predecessor a, a little red book as a present. We have another red book. But this is a guide to London's rebel walks, and we hope he'll enjoy it in his leisure periods. <laughs> The Chancellor of the Exchequer. <laughs> well, let me say, um, first of all, it's very kind of the uh, Right Honourable Gentleman, and I much prefer this little red book <laughs> to the one that he gave to my predecessor, although I have to say I haven't read this one and I have read the other one. 